Hey, this is Kevin from JJ Hat Center. Uh, we're here since 1911 on Fifth Avenue between 31st and 32nd Street and, uh, in Manhattan. I am working in this store since 1994. Uh, a lot of years, going on 25 years. So I'm pretty familiar with all the basics of uh, classic hat models and classic cap models. Uh, we probably have the hugest cap selection there is. Uh, like this case here, this is my large case. So, you know, I have uh, you know, small, medium, large, extra double X cases filled um, in the summer, in the winter, different lines. So, you know, that's a lot of cases. Uh, so, 10 cases filled. That's a lot, a lot, hundreds, thousands of caps. Big selection. What it comes down to with caps, two shapes. The flat cap, otherwise known as the IV cap, driver cap, flat cap, uh, angle style cap, right? It's like a wedge shape, skinny, narrow, narrow on the sides, not puffy on the sides. The other shape is called a newsboy, otherwise known as an apple jack, an apple, a big apple, um, Gatsby, an eight quarter cap, paper boy. It's basically newsboy and ivy. Ivy caps and newsboys are the two categories. These are generally wider on the sides, they're puffier. They puff out on the sides, that's the style. These are generally skinny, okay? But both styles come in skinny versions and fat versions. I can show you a skinny ivy and a fat ivy, a skinny newsboy and a fat newsboy. So it essentially comes down to which style you like first. Generally people will gravitate towards one, not both. Some people both, but it's rare. Um, I'm going to show you they look very different. Now the other thing is you've got kind of summer spring weight and then you've got autumn winter weight. The difference, one of them is for hot weather. It's generally cotton, cotton or linen. Mostly linen, sometimes tropical wool, silk, um, and they can have a, a lining like this, mesh, some kind of lining. Cotton lining, Stetson puts cotton, which is great. It's absorbent and it's comfortable, especially if you have a shaved head, you know. People don't like the feel of satin. So the outside is going to be lightweight with a lining. Okay. So let me show you what some of these things look like. The sizing in the general goes small, medium, large, extra, double X. Most people wear a large or a medium. It's just, you know. Okay, here's an ivy cap. Now I've got all this puffy hair on the side. Now if I had a nice, like, you know, short haircut, it probably would look really good on me, but I'm not crazy about the little puffs coming out the side, so probably we're gonna switch to a newsboy for me. Right? So I'm kind of newsboy cap. It's probably gonna work better. Here's a newsboy cap that's narrow. It's like a Burberry style cut, you know. It's that, I mean, it's better. I would, I would go a little wider, wider. All right, let's try Stetson Hatteras. The Hatteras is like the most popular newsboy there is, you know. Stetson makes this. They're very popular in the U.S., in Europe, everywhere. I think Japan, they have them. Stetson Hatteras, H-A-T-T-E-R-A-S. Hatteras is a style. There's Hatteras wool, Hatteras leather, Hatteras linen, Hatteras denim, Hatteras silk and cashmere, all these different things. Um, it's a shape. So what it is, it's a newsboy that's not too wide. It's not too skinny. Now I'm gonna show you a, a classical newsboy like from the 70s or whatever, maybe the 40s. A typical newsboy has a snap in front. Okay, it snaps down. Hatteras does not, it's sewn down for ease of use, okay? You don't have to shape this and it's ready to go right out of the package. Here's a classic newsboy. It's got a lot more bagginess. You have to shape it up. All right, it's a size too big. Let's go back down one size for now. Classic newsboy is called the JJ Newsboy Linen. It comes in wool too. There you go. There's a little shaping that has to be done. Got it. Narrow it up, okay? There's your classic newsboy. That's not for everybody, okay? The Hatteras is a more what I call a modern newsboy. So this is good for somebody with a little pudgier face, somebody who just likes the newsboy look. It's 
somebody who feels that the the IV cap is just too boring and too narrow and simple, or it's just, you know, I got these puffs of hair. I look like that dude on The Simpsons, clown guy, right? Um, it just doesn't work for guys with, you know, big bushy hair and stuff like that. You know, if I tied it back, maybe, I don't know. Ivy's a great, you know, backwards, you could do the old backwards thing, if that's your, your bag. Um, now let's talk about some of the differences in these caps. We talked about the Hatteras being a modern newsboy, and we talked about the, uh, the JJ being more of a classic newsboy. There are things called the Big Apple, which is huge. 99% uh, of the people in here can't wear it, it's too big. We've seen 95 Gotta be a big guy. I can't wear a big guy. Um, we can keep them somewhere separate, but now it's there, so I can't show you. Um, okay. Here's an Irish tweed. Irish tweeds are big. They're thick. They're kind of the highest quality newsboys are the Irish tweeds. The, the uh, material is woven by hands in Ireland, and uh, it has these cool rainbow flecks of color, which is kind of like a mark of authenticity. Um, this company, Jonathan Richards, is sort of known as the Rolls Royce. Uh, used to have to get them out of catalogs and stuff, but you could get them here. Uh, they're going to be the thickest, the most expensive. You know, it's like a 125 kind of, you know, but it's so thick. It's like an Irish sweater. I wish you can see how thick and bulky this thing is. It's just like fat. Now, this has got that look, like the classic newsboy look. Might be a little bit more too big for me. This is how it should look. Now you can open the snap on the Irish if you want, but it'll show. I don't care about that. But uh, these are incredible. They're really high quality, rainproof. They last you a lifetime. Um, really hard to wear out. The Ivy. They, well, this we call this one the Tully. T U L L Y. It's like that last one I showed you with the uh, brown herring bone. Same thing, that was a Tully also. Okay, getting that. Ivy cap, it's a skinny ivy cap. This is kind of like the, what's selling right now, it's the hot stuff. Skinny caps are popular. Okay. Now that's a cool ivy cap. I don't know. I might not wear it because of my particular hair and stuff, but this is really nice. It's a Stetson ivy. Super narrow. There's just no no meat hanging off the side. That's kind of like the biggest complaint now. People are looking for narrow ivies uh, because classic ivies of yesteryear basically were kind of I don't know baggy. You know, there's just too much stuff going on. And people want them to be almost nothing on the sides here now. That's the uh, the trend. So skinny ivies, skinny newsboys, they're modern. Wide newsboys, wide ivies are going to be more traditional, uh, more classic. Up to a few years ago, everything was wide. They just started making stuff a lot narrower now because um, they discovered that people will actually buy more if they did. Everybody was complaining they were too big. We came out with a slim cap that sold like crazy. One guy copied it, another copied them. It probably happened all over the country, and now caps are skinnier. See, look, it's a cool new sport. I can wear that. Okay. It's a little shaping you gotta do. All right, there are other shaped caps besides uh, new sports and high -beast. This type of sort of nautical shape, it's like a Greek fisherman. You know about this, I've showed this at sort of Beatles, Ringo, Loaf or something. These are pretty cool, they come in wool, they come in cotton, five colors each, um, sort of like a peacoat material, a little 
wool. And the cotton is really lightweight. Uh, leather sweatband, full leather sweatband. It's pretty good though. Find these are 45 bucks. They haven't changed, they haven't gone up in price in decades. Greek fishermen, they're pretty cool. We also have a cashmere version now that comes from New Zealand. Um, cashmere ones are totally custom, they have velvet on the inside, they're really nice. Um, but that's another shape, as opposed to uh, the newsboy and an ivy shape. There are a few other shapes out there. Dutch boys, baseball caps, things like that. But uh, we're not going to talk about that today. Probably going to get to work. So that's just a little primer about uh, caps. Yeah. Let's see if I can show you some of the cap selection here. There's caps. Yeah.